Hi, I'm Nelson and this is the San Nelson English School. In this school, we we'll help you to improve your reading, writing, speaking and listening skills. We also help you to pass the IELTS test. In this particular video, we are going to focus on expressing opinions. How do we express personal opinions? Page 53. How to say it. Expressing an opinion. Listen. In my opinion, Linda is the most talented student in our school. I agree. As far as I'm concerned, Linda is the most talented student in our school. I agree. When expressing personal opinions, we can use expressions like, in my opinion, as far as I'm concerned. Of course, the other person can agree or disagree. If you ask me, Linda is the most talented student in our school. I agree. We can also use the expression, if you ask me. If you ask me, is showing that you are giving a personal opinion. The other person can agree or disagree. In my opinion, Linda is the most talented student in our school. I disagree. As far as I'm concerned, Linda is the most talented student in our school. I disagree. In my opinion, as far as I'm concerned, this time the other person disagrees and says, I disagree, I disagree. If you ask me, Linda is the most talented student in our school. I disagree. We can use, if you ask me, to give a personal opinion. And the person can either agree or disagree. Listening. Listen to the sentence. Is the person saying something good or something bad about someone else? Listen. Page 53. Listening. Listen to the sentence. Is the person saying something good or something bad about someone else? 1. She's the nicest person I know. 2. He's the laziest student in our class. 3. He's the most boring person I know. Four. She's the most generous person in our family. Five. They're the most honest people I know. Six. He's the rudest person in our apartment building. Seven. He's the most dependable person in our office. Eight. She's the kindest neighbor on our street. She's the most stubborn person I know. Expressing an opinion. A, B. I'm A, you are B. You know, I think Linda is very nice.
that was very kind of her. Well, if you ask me, she's polite. In fact, she greets people in the morning, afternoon, and evening. Another one. I'm A, you are B. You know, Ali is very nice. That may be true, but he's the nicest person I know. If you ask me, he's generous. For example, last year, he gave food to all the street kids on Kampala Road. Now let us look at the positive, comparative, and the superlative. Number one, a small radio, a smaller radio. The smallest radio. Positive, comparative, and the superlative. Page 54. I want to buy a small radio. Listen to the model. May I help you? Yes, please. I want to buy a small radio. I think you'll like this one. It's very small. Don't you have a smaller one? No, I'm afraid not. This is the smallest one we have. Thank you anyway. Sorry we can't help you. Please come again. Follow the model and you try this. Do exercises 1 through 11. You will hear the correct line after you speak. 1. We'll begin. May I help you? Yes, please. I want to buy a large TV. I think you'll like this one. It's very large. Don't you have a larger one? No, I'm afraid not. This is the largest one we have. Thank you anyway. Sorry we can't help you. Please come again. Two. We'll begin. May I help you? Yes, please. I want to buy a comfortable rocking chair. I think you'll like this one. It's very comfortable. Don't you have a more comfortable one? No, I'm afraid not. This is the most comfortable one we have. Thank you anyway. Sorry we can't help you. Please come again. 